Hello, my Zentangle friends. This is Barbara Langston, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and welcome to Day 11 of Inktober Tangles for 2023. If you have not watched the introductory videos or Day 1, I encourage you to do that for explanation of how to set up your tiles, if you're doing it the same as me with this W2 pattern as a string for your patterns, okay? I want to encourage you to use at BBL underscore tangles in your posts if you put your tiles on Facebook or Instagram. So it makes it a lot easier for me to find what you did. And I love watching what you do. All right. Day 11, Dark Busters by Diana Marshall, CZT. This is an interesting tangle. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that you can see the quote that I put down here. And this is what Diana said on her post of the step outs. I saw them as the light breaking through the dark days. Now that's just a piece of the quote where she's explaining these. But when I read that, it really made a difference. And this is the basic pattern where these little orbs are breaking through the darkness. And um, this is how we're going to do it today. But I did want to show you this one. And that is by uh, Lynn Mead. And her website is called A Tangler's Mind. And this is her Instagram name. And there we go. A little bit closer on these. But I really liked <laughs> this one. I did it with my brown pen and the black pen and a white jelly roll pencil or pen. Cool, huh? So ideas on other things you can do with this. All right. So with yesterday's pattern, it had the circles on it too right here. So I'm going to do this one over here. <clears throat> And initially, I am going to use my Micron 01, but I may also use a graphic one. And that is just so I can fill in this area a little bit easier. So I'm going to start here with just a line of where I want the dark part to end, just as a reminder to me. And then we're going to put our little dark busters out here. Okay, so simply put, we're going to do an orb. Okay, and then within that orb, we're going to draw a smaller orb. Anywhere you want to put it. Okay, and then at the top of that orb, on the inner part of this, we're going to darken it. We're going to fill it in. Okay, and... Now we're going to put auras around that and just take your time. I think I read somewhere, maybe it was from Diana, that this looks better if you can keep these auras about the same distance apart. And I think that's the same with <laughs> everything that we do, but... Uh, doesn't always work out that way. Okay, so now I'm doing those same auras around 
the outside of that. Okay. And now we're going to add an aura all the way around our little dark buster. Turn your tile if you need to. My auras are never perfect, <laughs> so it's okay. <clears throat> All right, so over here, I'm gonna do another one, and I'm gonna draw my circle starting about that far away, and then I'll have my aura touch that one. Okay, so there's my orb, and somewhere in here, anywhere, we're going to put our second orb, and I have seen where people do it like this, okay, where it's not a full circle. This reminds me of uh, Crescent Moon, of course. So we've done that. This time it's kind of a semicircle. Now our auras. Okay, now we're gonna aura around that. And it will look better after we get shading on it. And I have seen these without these outer auras. And they're just cute little fillers on your tile. You can put them anywhere. Okay, now I'm going to put the aura, and I started right here where it touches the other one. She does have them touching. Okay, and I think I'll do another one here. So, again, I'm going to be about that far away from that one. And this is going to be a little bit smaller. And it's going off, and that's okay. So, we'll put this one on this side. Our little dark spot. Okay, our auras. All right, now the aura around it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's start by filling a little bit right next to these. Okay, so I'm going to have the dark on this side. So I'm just going to fill that in a little bit. Um, the graphic one has such a big tip that I don't necessarily want to go over my R line. So that's why I start with this. All 
then there's my line. So I'm going to be coming up like that. And I'm going to take this opportunity to fix that R line a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to come up this way. Okay. And I'm going to use the graphic one so you don't have to watch me fill in forever with a smaller pen. Uh, either the graphic one or there is a brush pen from Micron that works really well too. If you don't have those, then it's okay. You can use your PN or Micron 01 and just take your time. But I wanted to show these as dark busters because I really like what she said about breaking through the dark days. We all have dark days. And I think Zentangle helps me a lot with that. Well, I don't just think, I know it does. That is why I do it every day. Okay. So there they are busting into the dark. So I'm back to my Micron 01. And we want to show motion. And by doing that, we're going to put these little streaks. Okay. So just with your pen, little straight lines. And now mine look like feathers. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Trying to get it to look like something moving. Okay, and then we'll put it along here also. And then between these, where it has busted up the dark, we're just gonna put like little dashes of lines, various sizes, and they can squiggle a little bit. Okay, and this just represents the way that the dark has been broken up. Isn't that cool? I really love how that looks. <clears throat> I think I'm going to add a little R there to fix that. Now for shading. So inside of these little balls where those lines meet, right against that edge, I'm going to add some graphite. And then on the outside, where those lines meet, I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. All right, let's do it on all of them. Okay, and then a little bit of shading right back on the back of this. Down here on the bottom. Okay, now with our blending stump, this is a 
paper clip and it just helps me to keep a sharper point. I used to take it out <laughs> and now I just leave it in there. Okay, so now we're gonna soften that and kind of push it toward the center, but not all the way. And it gives us a nice highlight in the middle of this ball. With each of these, we're doing the same thing. We're just softening that graphite and pushing it toward the center. Okay. I'm actually going to add a little bit more down in here since that is like inside of that. I want that to be just a little bit darker. A little more emphasis on it going down. Okay. And again, just soften that a little bit. We don't want an exact line going across there. Just soften it, push it out toward the center a little bit. Um, if, you're happen, if you happen to do this on a colored tile, you could also use the white charcoal to add a little bit more emphasis there. And then I'm just going to soften that a little bit with my finger. All right, there we go. That is Dark Busters. <clears throat> By Diana Marshall. This was day 11. Oh, also... Her Instagram page, she doesn't have a website, but if you have Instagram, I highly suggest that you go check out her Instagram page. It is at di.anaom. She does some beautiful doodles, not necessarily Zentangle, but just repetitive patterns that are so relaxing and meditative, and uh, I might try them out. <laughs> I'd never seen her site before doing Inktober, and I just loved it. Okay, so there we go, day 11, Dark Busters. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to tag me, hit the like button, subscribe, tell your friends, comment, <laughs> all that good stuff. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.